Hello. Welcome back to Stalker. Escape from Pripyat. I've got some rather bad news, and it's a really frustrating, I gotta say. Um, it's the most frustrated I've been with this mod package, to be honest. Um, for the most part, things have been pretty okay. A couple crashes here and there, but nothing, nothing I can't handle. Um, I don't know why these are... Why are these no longer... Oh, these are not the right ones. Huh. This is 545.39 versus 45. Okay, never mind. Um, <clears throat> I uh, did, went about my business as I said I was going to and uh, have um, maintained all of our gear. Uh, my guns, uh, my, my armor. I got a new helmet. Um, it's much better than my previous one with better radiation resistance as well. Um, it's probably mid to late game uh, helmet. The problem is, is that um, I thought it would be a good idea. Um, don't ask me why. I'll tell you anyway, but I thought it would be a good idea to make a backpack, right? Because it's like, you know, it, it stands to reason, at least for me, I hate that these guys walk into me when I'm doing this. Um, I'm a little bit cheesed with this game, if I'm being honest right now. Uh, we're going to use the workshop. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to make a backpack. Because I looked at this hunter's backpack, and I was like, yeah, if I make this one, maybe this one will be a, uh ingredient for the tourist backpack. Which... I don't have the ability to make right now, but it might be that if I make this backpack, I unlock the ability to make it. Um, I, I wish that there was a little bit of assistance when it came to getting uh, recipes and stuff like this, because I, I have not been able to find basically any of the mechanics, manuals or any stuff like that. Um, so that that's a source of frustration. But um, yeah, I, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll make I'll make the hunter's backpack, and then I'll make. The traveler's backpack right or hunter's backpack so maybe i can make the tourist backpack whatever i don't care um you may notice that one of the one of the ingredients is a survival machete which was my knife and i was like yeah i mean it's just using the knife to make the backpack it's not going to eat the knife right there's no there's no earthly way that it would actually destroy the knife Right, use it up as an ingredient. That would just be absolutely ridiculous. There's no way. I refuse to believe that. So I went ahead and made it. And then I went ahead and, and did a bunch of other stuff. Like I maintained our guns and I, you know, did a bunch of stuff. Made bullets. Made a bunch of bullets. Um, some, some better bullets for our pistol. Um, and uh, some good bullets for our rifle. And then I came to a shocking and fairly devastating realization i don't have a knife anymore it's just gone it's actually gone um so now what now what i don't know um i kind of don't know this suitable for oh wait a minute suitable for cutting thick skin mutants okay i didn't actually see this knife in the store before mm -hmm. i had looked i had scoured every single store nearby and for the life of me i could not find a replacement knife mm -hmm. so hey um not all is lost i the best thing i could do is i found mm -hmm. in um the mutant uh the guy who who likes mutant stuff he uh he had um like a kukri knife and he was selling it for thirty thousand. And I mean, I just spent 22,000 rubles on this knife. Can we, I just need to underline that. I just spent 22,000 rubles on this knife because the game ate my knife. And I think I have the right to be a little bit cheesed about that, to be honest. Because what are you doing? What are you doing, game? Why, why are you eating my knife for dough? That... That is just absolutely rude. And uh, I, I need that, you know, because like right now, I don't have any food. There's no food. Um, none. Like I have zero food. I have a bunch of other things, um, but now I have no food. So um, I'm going to drink some water. 
And we're going to go and see if we can't kill a mutant or two. Now that I have a knife, the fact that I have a knife again is actually very good news. But I had to spend 22,000 on that. Oh man, we have like no means of sustaining ourselves. Hercules. This is an interesting idea. Gives us more weight carried. Um, I thought I... I really just have no food, huh? It would be almost interesting if maybe... Yeah, okay, so like smoking a cigarette will actually sate us. I'm wondering if... Uh, let, let's... Uh, let, here we go, kids. Go ahead. It's, it's all fine. I don't think that that's actually going to do do it for us at all. Um, so we're just like, you know, stuck at awful station. Um, satiation? I don't know. Who knows? So, um, I'd like to go to the swamp. Thinking we're going to go to the swamp. The reason being is I think that something I, I should do is, is make a bigger push for some of these stashes. Um, we could even consider hitting this military base, although it's god awful. Um, there's also... I, okay. I could just like rob some bandits. See if they have some food. I love to put seven bullets in a dude and, and they, they just like stare at you. Yeah, like I say, I'm a little bit cheesed. A little bit cheesed at the game. Um, a few mounting problems. Uh, yeah, just having to like spend a bunch. Like the, I have some money, but I have no means of buying food right now. And I can't really fast travel. Like every time I fast travel, uh, if you're hungry while you're fast traveling, you take damage. So I could do it. Like, the, you know, there's nothing saying I couldn't do it. But, um, you know, I, I've already been kind of abusing fast travel. So I just kind of, I would rather not, you know. Also, I have a bounty on my head. I don't know when that happened, but I do. So that's kind of an issue. I don't know why I have a bounty on my head. I think that's it. Nope. There we go. Three bullets, five in total, three dudes. I'm, I'm, I, I can accept that. Oh, oh God. Wait, is that my friend? Oh, that's my friend. Just shot my friend in the head. Oops. All right. If I'm very lucky, one of these three bodies, and actually I see some dogs in the distance there, um, will have uh, some food, and then I will not be struggling so much. My cat is doing weird things right now. Sorry, dog. Uh, all right food. Oh, you have some mutant meat That is very nice And uh, you have magazines. Oh, that means you have oh, yes, we have ammo here that I can actually use fantastic That is a good find Game is is somewhat making up for its tr previous transgressions and they were transgressions make my make no mistake because like you know i all i'm you know, i'm i'm telling you that uh, i don't have a i don't have a knife and like y you don't know how much effort i went to to try and like find a happy middle ground where it's like yeah i, I don't have to un like redo an hour's worth literally an hour's worth of inventory management and uh you know item management and um gun and uh, equipment maintenance i don't have to redo an hour of that literally an hour 
Um, but at the same time, I still have my knife and no one would sell me a knife. A and, and the only replacement I could find was 30,000. I'm like, well, like making 30,000 is at least an hour's worth of work. Unless I get like very lucky. 22,000 is still pretty bad. Like I, you know, that's, that's not really, um, a small deal either. At least we're getting some food right now. I'm, I'm grateful for that. Uh, these are mercenaries and we got some more four five. Yes. Love to get four five. Maybe, maybe, um, mercenaries tend to carry four five. I say four five. I mean five fifty. Sorry, five five fifty six four five. Uh, I really don't know what to. Someone's gonna correct me like a thousand times on how to per, like how to say some of this stuff, and I, I'm just like sorry because like I, I I haven't really seen any comments because I haven't been uploading this stuff. Is this a oh AK AK seventy four magazine? I was like oh if that was a a better magazine that I could use with my stat egg, not stat egg, sorry, ADAR, then that would just be ideal. That would be fantastic. But no, never mind. It's fine. I am open to buying better magazines because they are genuinely better. I've occasionally had the privilege of picking up a better magazine and found that, hey, the, these, these like, unload super fast which is really nice we are only using two of our three large magazines so if i wanted to i could equip add one of these to our loadout um so let's i'm gonna go ahead and do that even you know maybe maybe not a great idea because i'm not sure if you, we, then we have a better chance of reloading our our gun with an empty magazine but let's uh, throw some of this 556.45. Wow, we've got a lot of it now. Is there a magazine in our ADAR? There actually is. So now we have... Hmm. Does that mean if we eject this magazine, is that that's not part of our loadout anymore? Okay, so let's un remove from loadout and then add this one to our loadout. All right, cool. And then we're going to go ahead and throw some 556 in that one. We might actually have three magazines full of ammo, which would be so nice. That would just be I'm, I'm just amazing. I would love to have three magazines for our, uh, our ADAR. Yeah, it looks like we do. So although the game um, did... Did throw some nasty stuff at us. Uh, it seems to me that we are in a pretty good position now. We have some more food, which I'm going to cook up now. Um, I, I I don't know. We've got this here. I think it genuinely is worth buying mineral water, even though you can make your own water. Um, mineral water is used to purify quite a few of the mutant meats. And it occurred to me, I, I, I actually put away my um, chemical resistance artifact like i put it away uh in our storage because i wasn't using it anymore because i've um kind of like gotten used to purifying all of my mutant meat so i don't have to actually detoxify after eating which is really nice um it is a bit of extra effort i won't lie i kind of wish that as i said before i could like batch make food i sure hope that those are those baddies they are baddies. Oh, okay. Went ahead and reloaded our gun with... I just wanted to... chop up these dogs. There's another lad over there. I don't know where they are. That's our friend. Okay. I'm going to let them take care of it while I uh, maybe get some more food. Uh, that's not food. Uh, is that a flesh coming towards me? Get 
Okay. I love I love when they make that sound, honestly. Truly is a good sound. Now, did y'all oh my god, okay, well I, I guess that's realistic. All of those dogs had already been um chopped up. Also, I, you know, I gotta say it occasionally. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for fans of dogs. It does suck. I know. It's, um, it's kind of miserable. This game is not kind to dogs. Yo, did I wish... Did I, did I, like, wish upon a star here? Because, like, we've got a fast-loading 556 Stanag magazine here. I was like, hmm, you know, I would, I would really like a better magazine for our gun. And then the game's like, you know what, my boy, you've you've been kind. The fact that you did not give up on me uh, when I literally ate your gun. Sorry, not your gun, your knife. Um, you know, you've been a, bit, a good boy. Here, here's uh, a present. Thanks, game. I appreciate it. I needed that. I needed a win. Something is seeing me. I do like our new knife. It is a nice looking knife. Um, I'm gonna have to do a bit more bullet management in a second because I want to incorporate our new magazine. Now there was another lad around here that got dropped. Is that, no, that's like grass. Like I said in the last, I don't know, a couple episodes ago, I do wish that the game would make an effort to, sh to put bodies on the map but i mean you know I, there's something to be said about not making things super easy for the player for the sense the sake of uh some immersion we do be chopping up rats for food right now so you know emerge away my dude oh ah shoot really did not mean to do that and i just 100 percent wasted a bullet I did, um, I did make quite a few upgrades to our equipment, by the way. Uh, not just the fact that we have a better helmet, but that is, like, the most major one. That Our new helmet is no slouch. It's really, really nice. Um, but I also, uh, I had a, a spare helmet repair kit, which I used to, um, salvage the upgrades from our old helmet. Oh, okay, you're a friend. Are you guys friends? Okay, you're good. Yeah, same, bud. There was a body, and I don't know where the body is. Maybe he's running to the body right now. You will show me where the body is, and then I will loot it before you. Maybe? <gasps> there it is. No, that's a rat corpse. You buddy, do you do you know where it is, or are you just leading me down the garden path here? Sometimes they do run towards a body. I should probably visit Sidrivik uh, because he can um, remove bounties. Okay, I, I'm just gonna give up on that other uh, body. Okay, so we've got some more ammo here. We're gonna go ahead and unload this. Tempted to keep these magazines, even if they're not better. Um, so where's this new one? This is a new 556... I wonder why it's not at the top of the... Uh, my list. It usually shows relevant... things for your gun. Let me just see if this actually does work in our ADAR. Yeah, it does. So, why in the world is it not at the top of the list here? I'm hearing a... Zombo. Um, let's... Let's, um... Remove from loadout. Eject magazine. This one is now part of our loadout. And it's actually got some ammo in it, which is nice. Let's go ahead and put some more ammo in it. And look at that. Oh, yes. Yes, bud. That is some really nice uh, unloading right there. By the way, I, I, I think I've said this before, but it must be said occasionally is like doing all of this extra inventory management is actually beneficial to the player, not just because you can like 
gain um extra ammo and stuff like that but also it like unloading your magazines uh will give you experience um scavenging bodies gives you experience pretty much everything in this game actually gives you experience which is really really nice you know it's a it's a, one of those features that i really appreciate i wish more games did that you know i wish like the mundane features of a game like just like selling stuff even just selling stuff to uh, a merchant in this game gives you experience i wish that was the norm i really do i really wish that more games would reward the player um, for doing mundane tasks because definitely like i've said i do kind of I, I am kind of over it a little bit um we're gonna go to the swamp uh i just want to get that stash honestly so i'm just gonna do a full reversal here and then actually i think i can just mark it on my map i think i can just click on it and it'll no i, I guess i can only click on missions that's fine that mission is pretty much where i'm going anyway um i am kind of like a little bit fed up with some of our uh, you know necessary inventory management a little bit just a little bit um i i have i f do feel like i've spent a lot of time going through inventories and that's why it's so frustrating when i'm like in a situation where like oh uh my last save where i had a knife is an hour ago and that hour was fully spent um going through like a ton of items breaking things down um making bullets repairing our guns like figuring like refiguring figuring out how to like actually repair our, our guns properly figuring out how to up uh repair our suit so that it's actually you know doing some stuff for us it all takes time and it's all a little bit uh straining for the old noggin um and uh so like the idea of having to redo all of that is tr just truly horrendous just like a hundred percent pass on that completely so i uh, you know like p take your choice p uh, take your pick would you rather um waste twenty two thousand rubles or spend an hour making bullets i honestly don't know i made my choice clearly and i was I remember at the time that i made my choice i didn't realize that um i could actually buy a, a knife i wouldn't say better it's a different one um i didn't realize i could buy a knife because everyone i looked at everyone i checked didn't have a knife didn't have a replacement knife except for the dude in the 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 mutant dude and he was selling a kukri for thirty three thousand. so at the time the question wasn't uh you know redo an hour's worth of equipment management or like lose thirty three thousand. that wasn't you know that was the question at the time so um yeah hello child my dog Sorry, the ongoing meme is that my cat is actually a dog here. Is looking up at me and, and inquiring for some attention. Uh, Batty? Yes, Batty. Um, let's do a quick save. Damn. Damn, dude. And just because you aim uh, at the guy's head and shoot doesn't mean it's actually hitting him in the head. Still, I can't. I, I can. I can be disappointed all the same. You think there's another lad around here? Saw one of the bandits kill a boar in the Great Swamp. What do we got here? Oh, this is a bandit. Nice. Hey, ramrod. I I appreciate a ramrod. And you got an SKS modern. That takes me back. Remember the good old days when I had a uh, SKS with a PU scope? 
Yeah, I remember. I remember. Those that was that was you know different times. So we're gonna go and get that stash, and I'm gonna play with the idea of taking on that military base, but I'm probably not going to. It really sucks, you know, like it really does suck the big one. I can't imagine like wanting to to take on a military base. Like taking on any military at all is just like such a bummer in this game. Uh I think we're no, we're not getting close at all actually. Or oof. Almost ran right into an anomaly. bunch of electros i did notice a, the in like a potential thing to craft is an anomaly negator which um stops i think it lessens the effects of uh anomalies and obviously we can get things like electric resistance and burn resistance so anomalies will have a lot less say in the you know in our death I did refill our bottles and boil and purify all the all the water. I think we have enough um, purifying tablets for yeah one more set of water. Pretty sure that might be the military base. Yeah, right there. Truly, truly, do not want to do that right now. The, I think the worst case scenario. Well, not the worst case scenario. Like if I was to take on that military base. I guess the best case scenario is I could probably win. I could maybe win, but I would probably lose my companions. There's just like no question in my mind. Ah, there it is. There, there it is. Uh, oh, okay. Sometimes it's weird. Sunrise camouflage kit. I actually bought one of these. We have expert tools. Uh, I bought a sunrise camouflage kit, not really knowing or understanding what it was. I do have to get a specific gun for someone, and I'm not sure what kind of gun it is. So I should probably not be so so disassemble uh, disassemble happy. But expert tools is good. I think that's a like fifteen thousand. Um, rubles made. Uh, oh god. Pretty sure that was a bandit. I really hope that was a bandit. Otherwise, we're, we're gonna have a problem. That was military. We are gonna have a problem. Okay, let's just take all of this for now. Also, I did upgrade my backpack. Um, so I have a lot more carrying space now, which is just great. Let's eat some chocolate. I hate the chocolate eating sound. I'm actually going to talk over it for a moment because it is really, truly a ghastly and I don't think anyone needs to hear that, but dang, I, I was honestly really, I I'll say it. I was pissed off because <laughs> I was like trying to figure out where my knife had gone all this business and then i was like uh, i'm i'm hungry and i'm dying and all of this and then i was like well i'll have this chocolate bar i guess i'll eat that and then i hear this freaking chocolate eating sound and i'm just oh my god i was truly it it, it set me off you know okay um I don't really want to use my my big gun, but I'm not really I, I don't know if there's an alternative. I'm not really seeing a lot of lads This could be a pump station circum uh, situation In which maybe the military have been like fought by clear sky a number of times And weakened And then we can just go in and clean up But you know what? I'm I'm content with that. Ain't no way I should be taking on a military base. How dare you honestly ask me to do that? Oh, you can hear the exosuit, right? 
what I'd like to do is is this door openable no well, that really sucks because I'd like to be indoors when I fight them This is not going to go well. Air assistance needed. We need to get indoors now. Oh God. Yeah. Just looking for the helicopter. Trying to gauge how much time we actually get. Look how many there are. Honestly, my friend is doing a really good job right now. He's still alive. Guess that wasn't my last medkit after all. I'm still in the fight, sucker. Wow. I should use grenades. Look at him go. Oh my god. Well, now he's dead. That is to say he's down. He's still, he's still, no, he's dead now, finally. I, I really don't think I can ever take this thing on. Not unless I also have an exosuit. And, um, I don't know, like a ridiculously good sniper rifle. So I can just take them out from, like, far away. Yeah, I mean, you saw, I, I don't know if you, you saw it there, but I put probably, I don't know, five to ten bullets in the dude's head. He's got a good helmet. You know, that's all I can say. He's got a really good helmet and he's able to just deflect bullets. So, I don't know. I'm going to try this one more time. Maybe I'm a glutton for punishment. But I'd like to... You know, if we had a better position, because that's that seems to be historically what makes the difference is that I find a really good spot. Do I have any anti-toxicity? Yeah, I do. Moderately effective. I would like to use greatly effective. So I only have very good medicine, which is uh, it sucks because I don't like um I don't like to use the good stuff, but I actually would like to just cook some food and eat it. Because, uh, I, you know, it, it's having a very horrible effect on my endurance. Wow, they, there, there's the helicopter right there, huh? Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and make some of this. We're doing things the old-fashioned way. I'm going to go ahead and eat toxic food, and then we're going to take some pills. I could also just, like, chill with, uh, you know, with feeling bad, slightly toxic. It's not, not the end of the world. Some of these actually give us like good effects. I wonder if our suit, which provides like toxic resistance or chemical resistance, mm -hmm. lets us fight off that resistance a little bit. Oh God, look at our radiation levels. Never mind. Um, let's do this. Yeah, reducing radiation stuff. That should help. Anti-radiation drugs. 
but it also wears on our satiation so these these uh, concepts are very much fighting each other is it just me or is my gun very loud it only has a suppression Not see him at all. What else is new? There, there comes the helicopter. Those are all hitting, by the way. Yeah. I believe I'm still in this, honestly. I don't, I dare not save. No, oh, there's the helicopter doing its thing. I'm just gonna see how this goes. I'm not gonna save. Running out of bullets. This tree is doing the Lord's work, honestly. I don't know how they're hitting me. I can't even see them. Pretty sure that's it for the uh, ADAR. Yep. Oh no, we've got a little bit left. Actually, we've got a lot left. It's just gonna take me some time. Unfortunately, the the magazine that's in the gun is the fast loading one. I. I this is this is kind of ridiculous right now. Yeah. Oh god. If I can keep stay on top of my health and keep keep on top of my ammo situation then maybe. Our, my friends are still like at, at good health right now. What do you mean? Oh, I just reloaded and they have no bullets. <sighs> okay, all right. Tempted to save, honestly. Did the game just crash? You can't hurt me. I have a tree. 
Oh. Okay. They they have grenades. Well, honestly, that went a lot better than I thought it would. I don't know. Should I try that again? It really doesn't feel good. <laughs> like none of this feels good. I'm I'm honestly cheesing this base as hard as possible because um like that's the only way I can do this is if I have a tree between me and the helicopter and the base and I can like I get I get to like a moment of you know like oh I don't I'm not I'm not dead <laughs> you know so I don't know I, if I was like saving throughout this I'm gonna try it one more time There's the helicopter. Okay, that's one of the big lads down. I guess I'll save. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try saving. We have a quick save Okay, I hear the, the helicopter Let's reload the quick loading magazine While we have a chance save there's so many of them and so many of them take like 10 headshots before they die. Um, really considering giving up on this. I won't lie. Even if I can do this, it's just like a tremendous waste of resources. I know we're going to get some nice stuff. I don't know where the helicopter is right now. The fact that our friends are like okay through all this is, is kind of insane. Trying to just take care of all of our needs. See the shadow of the helicopter. You know what? Let's try a grenade. Oh. Did that kill the lad? I don't think it did. Even see the gunfire. Yeah, there can be a dude right next to me and I can't see him, and I'm really sick and tired of that. There needs to be a little bit more forgiveness for like when an enemy is able to shoot at you. If I can't see them, and it's so often the fact if I can't see them, they can just like headshot me instantly. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but like it, it, it feels um, it, it often feels like I'm at a disadvantage when I uh, like I can't see them and they can see me. Um, 
but we'll see i i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna continue this is, isn't exactly a dead loss just yet That's not our friend, is it? It is our friend. Hey, I'm really sick and tired of not seeing anyone ever. Yeah, like the only time I can see them is when I'm dying. That's the only time I can see them. It's really frustrating. Maybe, maybe I got to turn the foliage down. Maybe that's the only way I can do it. Cause it, it really is just like, there's always some bush or tree or grass in the way. And I cannot see anything. And they, I don't know. I don't have any more grenades, right? I only had the one grenade and I don't think it even did anything. My friends are actually taking fire now. Love it. Love it. Yo, okay. I, I'm giving up on this. This sucks. I don't know, I don't know whose idea it was to make like the second mission of the game to take on this military base, but that was really dumb. That is really absurdly stupid. And um, I could definitely see a lot of people getting to this point and like, yeah, I don't, I don't know about this game. Like it's, it's not fun. Um, even if I had a good sniping roost, like they can snipe me from across the map and I just am at an absurd disadvantage and it just sucks all of the time. I don't know what I'm doing right now, honestly. We're trying something new. If, it, if at first you don't succeed, try something different. Otherwise, you're just uh, defining insanity. Oh, God. Always a bush. We're done with this. Done with that. Truly uh, an unfun sport. Now, how, where, where are we here? Because it seems to me like this save here is also behind a tree. Were we already fighting them? Man, I, I have questions for the quick save system. Okay, yeah, getting getting cheese with the game. You know, I I to to focus on the positive for a moment um we i have a lot of ammunition apparently um for our best gun and that is really nice it oh wow we're already fighting bad guys huh what happened to our quick save where i wasn't fighting bad guys what happened to that this is probably how i lost my knife because i assume when i quick save it makes a new save but that's not the case 
apparently. So like the last save before I took on the military base is now before I collected the stash. Like when I came into the Great Swamps. I I don't know. There's there's a I really like this stalker pack, but there's a lot of things mounting to a hilt. A lot of problems that are just like getting in the way of enjoying it. Um some of them are technical. Yeah, so this is now I now I have to go recollect that stash over there. Um, some of these problems are technical and some of them are not. Some of them are gameplay. Some of them are mechanical in nature and um, it really sucks. Like I, I would love to, you know, I, I, like what's wild to me is one of the boasts about this pack is how many options there are in uh, for turning on and off, you know, certain mods. How come I can't turn off the helicopter? Is that just like an inherent feature of the stalker? I can probably make them less accurate. I bet you if I went to mod configuration or something, if I went to options settings here, is it gameplay, stealth kills? It, don't make me laugh. Warfare, I believe this is a completely different mod that I don't even use. Um progression gameplay part of the problem is i don't know what a lot of this does and there's not a very there's not very good um documentation for this pack like there's good documentation for some of the major mechanics like repairing stuff but like if i wanted to find a breakdown of some of the settings or even just like major settings then um you know good luck uh i would love to like maybe make uh enemies less accurate like less dead eye accurate with um their gunfire that would make things a little bit you know, i know and i know i'm taking on a military base with and some of them have exosuits it's it's not really um i shouldn't be doing this basically i, I don't know if i should ever be doing this this is the kind of thing that i would probably need to have something like the warfare mod on so i can actually fight it with a an army of people but you know i'm not because i i there doesn't seem to be good features for that or maybe i'm supposed to turn on that uh those features i don't know there's a lot of questions what is this skeleton key huh Strange key that looks like it was exposed. So these are different this time. We have an ammo case. We've got a bunch of stuff. We still get expert tools though. That's nice. You know what does suck though is there... I, I killed that one military dude. And I'm pretty sure that's where I got that magazine. Unless I have do I have it in my gun right now? Okay, I, I do have the fast loading magazine. All right, nice. Because I was going to be a little bit sad face if I lost that fast loading magazine. Okay, um, let's go to Rookie Village. I know this is like a very bizarre segue. But I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be in the swamp. I don't think I ever want to go to the swamp again, if I'm being honest. Um, the only reason I went there is for the stash, and then I got the bright idea to try and t take on the military base. I am better prepared, you know. It must be said. That, that went better than before, but it still didn't go well. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe it's a good way of gauging my progress. But... Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'll be going there again. Um, I'd rather take on other impossible tasks, you know? Um, it's a different, like, you know, uh, kind of like a Soulsian experience. Um, the game does not really do a good job of matching you with appropriate difficulty, you know? Like, you're thrown into this into this world 
and um, it's very much a sandbox. And, uh, you know, good luck. If you bump into something that you're not prepared for, that's kind of the nature of the beast, you know? Maybe, maybe the game gives you a mission that you cannot do, and that, you know, a lot of games, a lot of, uh, you know, games are designed so that is never the case. So that, the, you know, the player doesn't feel frustrated. Um, but, like, frustration doesn't, uh, isn't really a cause for concern with this game, you know? And that you can kind of take it or leave it, I suppose. Like, some people are going to be cool with that. It means that you have to better understand, um, you know, the dangers of the world and then, like figure out for yourself how how bad is it like how how bad is the thing i'm going up against right now bad or really bad and you know some people prefer to figure things out on their own i i guess for myself i i don't mind figuring things out on my own i do actually like it so long as there's like features in the game too or clues you know, uh, I, I guess a clue could be, oh, well, it's a military base. Help me settle some things with some, some people. I want the Ukrainian troops around here to leave me in peace. Um, the mercenaries, it's like I've got a price on my head. You probably do. Luckily, they live for money. 5,000 rubles might get buy them off for a day or two. 10,000 should pay them off for four. Okay, so I, I guess I always have a bounty on my head. Okay. Uh, is there any work you want me to do? Location garbage. Special supplies. Sure. Any work you want done? Contract killer. Location Jupiter. I've never been there. Bandit patches. I'll do it. I always have bandit patches. Any work you want done? No, nothing. Okay. I want to make plans for maybe my next piece of armor. Do we have any new... any magazines? No, just this stuff. Just the stuff I've been using, basically. Oh! We do have magazines. We have some really decent magazines, actually. What is this? Stanag 100 round magazine. So that is... that is what you call an extended mag. Then we have fast loading. Extended. Uh, another extended and then this is a 60 round I th I don't know like I don't think that there's any downside to having a large magazine uh, would be kind of neat is this thing this thing does weigh uh, quite a bit does it weigh as much as like well, how much do these weigh half a kilogram so this thing is the equivalent of five normal magazines uh, but it does not carry five magazines worth of ammo it only carries a hundred grand a hundred uh, rounds interesting uh i am tempted on that actually having a hundred rounds might be really nice certainly not having to reload basically ever would be uh, a nice feature what is this doing here Oh, okay, that's not the magazine we're using. So I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm okay to sell that and that. Um, weapon body upgrade basic. So we, we're making... Uh, I don't have nearly enough. How much is... He'd give me 3,000 for the skeleton key. Teeth grow ominously and look to be con constantly changing shape and size. I feel like I should keep this. How much would he, he would give me 3,000 for this ammo case. I kind of want to open that ammo case, though. Um, oh, expert tools, 5,000. We're getting there. Can sell these magazines. 5,000. All right. We're, we're, we're almost there. Um, yeah, uh, 23,000. I need 3,000 more still. Let's sell this knot. 
explosive resistance i mean that's nice and all but i don't think i've really needed that ever i'm sure i will one day chimera horn would give me a thousand okay that would almost be enough i think that is enough now all right let's let us buy a ridiculous magazine for our gun so i basically never need to reload I am content with this. Now, I am going to keep our fast loading mag. What I'm going to do is we're going to have our ridiculously large magazine and our fast loading mag, and that is it. Uh, eject magazine. Kind of want to like, what, I'll, what we could do is have our fast loading mag as our backup. Considerably lighter than its steel count counterpart. Oh, this is the one that's half a kilogram. Wait, these other ones are only... <laughs> okay, so the fast loading one is actually half a kilogram. The uh, A normal magazine is only uh, 0 0.2 kilograms. So five of these magazines make up one kilogram. This thing is 0 0.5. I thought it was larger for some reason. Oh, you know what? This has, um, this has, it's loaded with ammo. That's why. So this thing is the equivalent of two magazines, but it holds the equivalent of three magazines and a bit. So, um, very nice. Now, does it, what, can I add it to my loadout though? That's the, uh, kind of important question. No. Okay. That is a little bit of a problem. Only a little bit, though. And it does load, like, molasses. Like, I think I'm gonna have to do a pause when I, when I <laughs> need to load this thing. Uh, maybe I've made a mistake here. No, we're, we're, in, we're in this together. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna load this thing on camera exactly once. And then, um... Every other time, I'm just gonna like between sessions check how much ammo is in it and then fill it with whatever I have on me. Can I even fill this thing right now? I don't think I can. Oh my god. And we're loading it with like 13 different kinds of ammo. They're all 556, but like... I'm not, I'm not loading. There's no consistency here at all. Oh my god. How much... Okay, we can we can actually fully load it. <laughs> this is really funny. Look at all the types of ammo in there. We have five types of ammo. Jesus. Okay. And then load the magazine. Let's let's see it. Can it it does it doesn't show up on the gun unfortunately. That would be hilarious. Just the magazine like curving right around. Okay, um, we are carrying a lot of stuff. I actually, let's, can I, can I sell anything else? No, uh, I should disassemble that armor. Probably going to end the episode here, um, unfortunately. And that means that on the next episode, I'm going to take care of some extra stuff. We need to sandbox a little bit more. Uh, I have to recoup some losses from buying that knife and now this magazine because I make sensible decisions about my money. Um, let's open up this box. Four boxes of 762.54. Um, if I use that ammo, that would be great, but I don't. I used to, and really nice, like decent snipers. This is great. This is a, a very good find. How much um, could I sell this ammo for? Probably not as much as the the ammo crate, right? Where? Why is it so difficult to find some of this stuff? Like, where is the ammo I just got? Oh, is it is it there? I, it's automatically in the store. Only nine hundred. So the ammo box would have sold for three thousand, but he's only gonna buy the ammo from the box for eight hundred. That's the I, I guess you you win some you lose some situation there. Jesus. Okay, well, I can always disassemble it and we'll get some AR bullets for it, maybe. I think. 
Um, let's uh, take a quick trip to the farm while we're here in the cordon. Is there anything I need to do? There's nothing going on in the cordon right now. Fortunately, did not. Oh. Okay, we have a friend on the roof. We've got friends in the farm. It's always nice when we have friends in the farm. I hate it when we don't have friends in the farm. And but we do need food. I'm gonna have to buy some more food. I'm sick and tired of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna sell some of these extra parts. Might get to the point where I just like don't sell parts anymore. Like I only sell them to get them out of my inventory. But at a certain point, it's just like a lot of time spent and then I get like what 700. I guess it does add up over time. But it takes a lot of time. <laughs> okay, let's sell these extra mags. And I think that's going to do it. I don't think there's anything else I can do except for maybe buy some food. Do y'all have a sausage I could buy? I don't have any money. I have 1500. <laughs> I have no money. You'll sell me an MRE for 20,000. Jesus. What a situation I'm in. I'm still like, I still have no food despite the fact that I like cooked a bunch of stuff. Well, can I buy some mineral water at the very least? No. Jesus. Um, I'm gonna have to make some difficult decisions. All right, I still don't have enough, but I'm very close. Please. Please, my child. He's very sick and hungry. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to sell. Mm. Oh, okay, you know what? We have 15 of these. We don't need 15. And these sell for a pretty good price. I want to keep like five of them. All right, we'll sell those. And now we have, at least we have some mineral water so I can go and cook some rat meat, whatever. All right, well, that's going to do it for um, this episode. It's been kind of miserable, but whatever. Uh, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.